What's going on everybody? Jake here with Venture Visuals. I hope everybody's having a good start to the new year. I know I am stoked to be firing off some new tutorials at you guys. Today we're going to be talking about how to create this fisheye lens effect in Adobe Premiere Pro without actually having a fisheye on the camera that you're using or whatever lens it is that you're using. Here in Adobe Premiere Pro I have two clips as you can see. Now this is a music video I shot last year called Palm Trees. It's on my YouTube channel if you want to check it out. I'm just going to apply this fisheye effect to the entire music video that I shot so you guys can see a variety of clips with this effect being used. All we want to do is come over here to our effects tab. We're going to type in lens distortion, right? And that's going to be all the way at the bottom underneath our distort folder. We're going to drag that onto our clip. We're going to change the curvature up to 100. Now you'll see all this white space around it. So in order to get rid of that, we're just going to increase the scale of this clip until we don't see the edges anymore. So right about there is perfect. The other thing I like to do is just add on those corners that you'll often see with legitimate fisheye lenses. So what we need to do is just go to our project panel and we're gonna come down here to new item and we're gonna create a color mat. And then we're just gonna hit okay. We're gonna save it as a black color mat and we're gonna hit okay. So we're gonna just drag that color mat right on top of our clip right here. Drag it out like that. And as you can see, it's just a black shape, right? So what we need to do is just come over here to our opacity tab and hold shift and drag this circle shape to where we like it. And then we're just going to hit invert, right? So now we can see that we get the black around the edges and it's all clear here in the middle. I do like to feather this a little bit more than 10 pixels, maybe something more like 25 pixels. And then what we're going to do is just keep increasing the mask size until we get like a closer look to what a legitimate fisheye lens is going to look like, right? So now we're getting pretty close here. I'm just dragging them out to the edges, just kind of eyeballing it. And now we have this kind of really cool fisheye effect. Half the people out there actually use real fisheyes. I myself have a fisheye lens, which I will link down below. But if you don't have a fisheye lens or you just don't can't afford one, this is a really easy way to kind of get the same effect. Even if you do have a fisheye lens, I still think that this way of getting this kind of effect looks different than what you're seeing through an actual fisheye lens. So let's just go ahead and play back this music video and just observe some of these clips with this effect being used. <laughs> I really appreciate y'all tuning in. Please consider subscribing to my channel. We are a growing community of video editors and creatives, and we're all just trying to help each other get better. And I'm excited to have all of you guys along the journey with me. So definitely consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you learned anything from today's video, hit the like button down below and comment below. What is your favorite video effect that you use in your own edits? Comment down below. I'm interested in hearing from you guys. Even if it's just one or two of you, I don't get that many comments yet. I'm still very small on YouTube, 838 subscribers as of January 5th. 2022. I see all the comments. I respond to all the comments and I really appreciate all of you guys that watch my videos. And if you are a video editor or just a creative person in general, you definitely got to check out my website, venturevisuals.com. I got all sorts of video making assets on there from overlays, transitions, Lightroom presets, all of the above. It's kind of a one-stop shop if you're looking to add some sauce to your own visuals and your own edits. So definitely check that out. I'll include a link down below. So let's keep this momentum rolling into 2022. Until next time, guys, I'm Jake Venner. Peace out.